Well, the octopus or suicide hook has probably got to be one of the most popular hooks across the world. And I grew up using these in Port Phillip Bay and Western Port fishing for snapper. I think I caught my first snapper on my birthday when I was 14 years old. I can still remember my knees actually knocking together with excitement. That fish was about two kilos. If I think about every time I've rigged a pilchard, cast it into the bay in anticipation, OMG, so many times. So what I want to do is show you my Port Phillip Bay snapper rig and then show you how to put a pilly on. So this is basically the rig and it's so simple. I've used a bit of pink line so you can see it properly. I have there a 6-0 Gamakatsu octopus hook. Then that's tied by the way with a uni knot. That hook there is just sliding. It's the same hook, slides up and down the line. And then a small pea sinker just going down on top of the bait. And to rig it, it is very, very simple. All we do is get our pilly and we basically go through about a third of the way in all the way through with that front hook. Then we take that hook, we put it in facing towards the nose, we head in there in that soft bit and the key is to try and bring it out through the gill plate because the gill plate in the head is the toughest part of the fish. So after it's been picked by different things, there's much greater chance that hook is still gonna be in a good place if you put it in something tough. So we pull up that bit of slack line and you'll see our hook is sitting nicely where we had that little hole before. I basically go back in that hole and then slide that hook again, point towards the front, roll it around I then pull my line up and you'll see it's going to hang a little bit weird. And to fix that, all we do is a simple half hitch over the tail. So half hitch over the tail. The sinker then holds that in place and that is the perfect Port Phillip Bay pilchard. Works really well with the silver whiting too. And you can just imagine any fish that comes along and eats that is going to be in a little bit of trouble. It is just beautiful. You can do this with Phillip baits as well, although with Phillip baits I do like to snell that top hook to hold it together. But if you do that, in Port Phillip Bay, and I'm going to show you something. A pilchard is probably one of the softest fish you could ever put on. And I'm going to show you this. I can physically do this and go round and round. Imagine the momentum on that, right? I'm going pretty hard. If I didn't put that on, probably to blow to bits. Look at that. My pilly is still perfect. And that's why you take the effort to present them to the fish properly.